Welcome back to the grind for a full breakdown of how to defeat the Kang boss in Act 7.3 in the final quest, quest number 6. There are several different links that will change a little bit about how the fight will work, so you will want to pay attention to that. The node that I took is Conquer the Conqueror, which gives you parry and dex charges, and when you run out of them, you get power locked and uh, special locked for 4 seconds, and then you get them reset to 7. Now this fight is all about completing Kang's power prompts, and after completing a certain number, depending on the phase, you'll put him into a wounded state. If you fail these prompts, you take a burst of damage against you. If he puts the prompt for a 3, you have to throw off a special 3 or have 3 bars of power when that timer ends. If you use that many bars of power, you can get to the next uh, prompt quicker. And then you can see here, he's showing a 0. So you have to finish the timer with 0 bars of power. So you'll want to use up your power right before that timer ends ends and then the other number right beside the timer shows what prompt will come next so you can see we're going to use our power right before it ends and that's going to give us our last charge to then put him into a wounded state in phase one which is from 100 percent to 91 percent you only need to get three power charges to put him into the wounded state so this phase is fairly simple you can see here he has a one we used a special one so that gave us a power charge and pushed us to the next prompt now we have a three you can use heavy attacks to pause the timer and when you bait out the special one, every time you dex one of the hits, you're going to gain power. And every time you block one of the hits, you're going to lose power. This is how you control your power in the fight so you can ensure you get to the right prompt. However, it can actually complicate things if you accidentally dex or block when you're not supposed to. And this is the same throughout the entire fight, except the power gained or lost changes. Now we have two power charges and our next prompt is zero. So we're going to have to ensure we have zero power. So I took some power drained and I'm throwing off special ones so that I can ensure I have no power in time for the prompt to end. And now we put him into a wounded state. In the wounded state, we're able to deal our regular damage because without the wounded state, he has significant damage reduction. And the first phase is pretty easy because it's only nine or 10%. And then he goes invulnerable for a little while. And after that, he's going to be aggressive and he'll resist heavy attacks and he'll be unblockable. So you want to back off. Now we've entered phase two, which is all the way to 50%. And in this phase, you need to get four power charges to put him into a wounded state. Now in this phase, you actually gain a little bit of power every second and your special attacks cost 50% less power as well as his special one when you dex will gain you even more power so the same rules apply you want to complete the prompts that he gives to you and you can use your heavy attacks to pause the timer to give you more time to get there the addition is now when he triggers a new prompt he's going to put passive furies that fall off over time so the sooner you can complete the prompt the more of those passive furies will be transferred to you when you complete the prompt so we didn't get any of them unfortunately now we have to get power drained so that we have two bars of power and then we're going to throw off our special two when he still has one passive fury. So once we complete this prompt, that passive fury transfers over to us and when we put him into a wounded state, those passive furies will then become active furies that will increase the damage we can deal during the wounded state. Now we have five because we were able to complete the special one prompt very quickly. Now I want to show you this dexterity charge is almost gone. So when I use up the last charge, we're going to see see me get power locked and special locked for four seconds and then once that special and power lock expires I'm going to get seven of the dex charges back and that's from the path link that I took down and it doesn't really affect the fight all that much now we threw off our special two we've got our fourth power charge and we pushed him into the wounded state those furies have now gone to an active state so we're dealing a little more damage and i pushed him into the corner and i'm spamming heavies to get as much damage as i can and then i'm throwing off a special three to squeeze out a little bit more damage as well and then after that you go straight back into the next prompt and this one is a zero so i just throw off my special attacks as quick as i can to get rid of all my power before that prompt ends so that i can uh, not fail the prompt, but instead get a power charge. And this is repeated over and over until you put him back into a wounded state with those four charges. And this phase lasts until we get down to 50%. Once you get into the next phase, there's only a couple differences. The power drain from taking a blocked hit will be increased. And instead of gaining a little bit of power every second, you're actually going to lose power every second. So this can actually make getting to a special three a little bit challenging. But there's ways 
to get around it. So now we've got our first prompt in this phase and it is zero. So we're just trying to stall out the fight a little bit, hitting into the block so that we don't gain power. And now we've gotten our next prompt. And this one is to get to a special three. I throw off a heavy attack to pause it because I have a lot of ground to cover. And I'm going to actually fail this prompt. And you'll see actually Hulkbuster is not always gaining power when he dexes the special attack. So I think that's a bug in this fight with Hulkbuster in particular. It's the only one I had issues with this happening. Hyperion is a great option for this phase and the last phase actually because the power gain helps you to mitigate the constant power loss that you have from this phase. And you'll see when we have to get to a special three, we're actually going to have an easier time staying at a special three because we're constantly gaining power. It's always active for, for a special three. With other champions, you can get around it by attacking into the opponent and right after you hit them and gain that power, you want to launch that special attack very quickly. And we're going to demonstrate that in the next clip. But you can see that other than these minor changes, the fight is very straightforward and very much the same, just following the prompts to get the charges. Now we're going to show how you can get a special three with any champion. So I pushed him to another special attack. I paused it with a heavy attack and then after we get close to three bars of power you just attack in and immediately after making contact you launch your special three. You have a very small period of time to do that. Now the final stage is at two percent. He takes no damage and is unblockable. So you want to try to intercept as much as you can but also carefully but you need to be close to Kang because you gain power based on how close you are to Kang. You gain 25 percent of a bar of power every second depending depending on how close you are, and he gains 18% of a bar of power every second no matter what. So it can be challenging to beat him to a special three. Hyperion is an amazing option for this. He makes it so easy because his added power gain helps you get there quicker. But you see, it's not a guaranteed kill with that special three. So you might have to use a second run or another champion. If you're not using Hyperion, you want to try to intercept him at the last second right before he gets to three bars. This was a little early, but the longer you can delay that before he hits three bars, the easier it will be for you to stall out your combo you want to do your hits delayed not back to back but with a slight pause so that you can be close to him for as long as possible and that will help you get to a special three before Kang does so I hope that this video was helpful it was a pretty fun fight once I learned how to get around certain things but it did take some practice so I hope that this video helps prepare you ahead of time so that you are able to get through this fight with as little difficulty as possible let me know what your thoughts are in the comments section below and I hope to see you in the next video.